For today's show, we'll be having Olivia presenting our activities and news. On to you, Olivia. Thank you. It's been an eventful few years here at SEC. Let's do a quick recap. First and foremost, SEC would like to extend a grateful thank you to all who attended, donated, and supported us at our 16th annual gala. It was such a memorable evening, so let's look at a few highlights. This year, Michael, one of the many artists at SEC, had a chance to meet the artist who inspired his poetry. Earlier this year, Michael entered a literacy contest where he was tasked to write a poem based on the work of art. The work that stood out to him was the artist named Jacqueline Sullivan, entitled The Way Forward. We invited her to come and hear the poem inspired by her work, and she was presented with a copy of Michael's poem. It was truly a special moment. SEC was proud to present an art gallery for the first time at this year's gala. We had paintings, videos, drama backdrops, and more on display to all of our guests. We are so proud to be showcasing our talented participants. Speaking of art, Michelle Turco had continued her tradition of unveiling a new painting every year and revealed, together we can move mountains. In our guests, since a picture is worth a thousand words, will let her painting speak for herself. We were all blown away by her talent. This year's gala was full of music. Our friend Michael played some of his favorite songs on his accordion, followed by the amazing set by Jeff, Phil, and Donnie Smith. We are so grateful to have so much talent in the SEC family. Thank you for all an amazing gala and we're looking forward for the next one. March break camp was a blast this year, a blast of color. This year, our theme was the power of color and we had so much fun exploring different color every day. We learned all about where color comes from, different songs and colorful names and made some colorful food. We ended our colorful journey at the end of the rainbow with a green St. Patrick's Day celebration. The past few months have been full of retreats. We have been so happy to have grade sevens, confirmation students and grade tens too. We had the chance to connect with them and grow in faith together. Among all other gifts, our retreat students received a special gift this year, rosaries handmade by our participants. Thank you for coming to see us. We hope you all come back to visit. Another thank you is in order for our friend Liam. We have enjoyed having you as part of our team and we're thankful for your hard work. Please come back and visit us. A happy, happy birthday going out to Jose, Ben, Matthew, Olivia, Andrew, and Alvaro. We hope you all had a wonderful birthday. Congratulations are in order for being the SEC star of February and Crystal for being the SEC star of March. Thank you for sharing all of your talents with us. SEC took a trip to Vaughn Mills. We had a lot of fun checking out Outdoor World, the fish tanks, and getting our steps in. We can't wait to come back. Chris was invited to speak as a guest at the Lenten Reflection for the DPCDSB, the Dufferin Peel Catholic District School Board, Mississauga East, family of schools. She had the chance to share her testimony, A Mother's Love, to groups of the teachers and staff, while Blue Veil played music for the night. It was a memorable night for all. Spring into spring with us at our next paint night on Friday, April 21st at 7 p.m. for adults and Sunday, April 23rd at 3 p.m. for all ages. All proceeds will be going towards supporting our arts program so you won't be having just a good time. For tickets, check out our Facebook, Instagram, or email us at seccenterstaff at gmail.com. See you there. Stay tuned daily for more adventures and fun activities by following SEC on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Back to you, Michael. Well, that's it for SEC News today, but join us next time to get the full insight of our activities and news. Goodbye.